Okay, so I'm freaking starving. It's 7 o'clock, and the last time I ate was around noon, so I gotta get dinner. But before we do that, we're gonna do a video on location. So, when we're doing a dance app for matching dance partners, we need to be able to find out where each other are. So, it would be pretty useless of a dance app if you can't search for someone within your city. So, to do that, we're gonna add those features. But the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to your styles.js, which I had you relocate to assetsstyles.js. And I want you to add fixed label margin left zero. And that's basically it. We could go over to the search. I don't know what is up with that. But we could go over to search. And the next thing I want you to do is I want you to get rid of this config and default image. Don't think we'll be using it. And then I want you to move this gender down under to min age and max age. And then I want you to add two more fields. That's city and country for the state. So we're going to keep track of that. So let's just change those labels. And then the next thing I want you to do is for country, I want you to add the handler for it. So it's basically the same as all our other handlers. We're just going to set the state whenever the value changes. And things look good. So after that, I want you to take this. If you have all this code with the props.user.user, .user, finding the profile picture, we don't need to do that. This is a search form. So we're not going to be showing any pictures here. So we just go ahead, delete that code, tighten things up. And then I want you to delete that profile picture there. Because we deleted our values, the, the variable that we assigned, we don't need that profile picture. So we'll just go ahead and delete that, tighten things up again. And then I want you to add this preferred location. Remember that we just added a state for city and country. So this is the preferred location section where they'll be able to search for other dancers by location. And you can see that we've added two things. Uh, we added, now we're using that fixed label that we use, that we defined in styles.js. For city, the cool thing here is we just put the change here with the on change text action. And whenever they type their city, it will just set the state of the city. And for our country, we actually have a picker I use Canada and the United States because I'm only targeting North America right now. So that's that. I'm gonna make this bigger because people always complain about things not being big enough. So in our profile, we kind of want to do the same thing. We're gonna add the address one, address two, city and the zip code. And then we wanna add a handler for on country change like we did in search. The next thing I want you to do is we have address one, address two, and all this kind of stuff already, but I want to change it to this state. So we're going to use this state address one, this state address two, this state city, this state zip code, and this state country. And then the next thing I want you to do is add the location for that stuff. So it's basically the same thing that we did in search. We added some new states, and then now we're going to add it in the screen so that whenever we interact with it, those states will be saved. So let's take a look at what we added. Address one, address two, city. These are all saving the states within the on change text action or attribute, whatever you want to call it, because it's, it's simpler that way. We don't have to define another definition for it. For the country, we did the same as in search.js. Of course, we're only using Canada and United States for North America. And since we're in our profile, I named this your location because it's the location that we're, we're going to use when other users try to find you. So that's basically it for today's video. Uh, I guess the catch me is, is that, or well, not a catch me, it's a really pro tip to just to find things within the attribute if you can. If you can't, then we can make a handler function like we did here. But for these kind of things, it's better like typing in 
typing in text instead of picking from a drop down. It's better to do it that way, I find. But uh, that's basically it. So join our mailing list and please rate, comment, subscribe because it really keeps me motivated and inspired to do these videos. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.